So I'm just gonna go out on a limb and speak defensively about this item. Now, Chitterlands, Chitlins, if you're from the South of you where I'm from, has been getting a bad rap for a lot of reasons. Now, when you walk into a house, you can smell a chitlin, not a chitlin, a chitlin hit your face. It smells like if booty sweat was dipped in bologna and like streamed out with a piece of bread. I know y'all like that's nasty, but chitlins over white rice with Louisiana hot sauce is like steak to anybody in the South. People look at chitlins like, ew, that's the pig gut. That's the last thing in the pig. You shouldn't eat pork anyway, but you gonna eat the pig booty? Yes. Yes. If a pig was circumcised and that extra skin just laid in the pile, that's really what a chitlin is. No matter what part of the pig body it come from, that's what a chitlin is. Even when you look at the chitlin, it looked like foreskin. I won't even front. But what y'all not gonna do is disrespect chitlins because of some chitlins with some white rice, Louisiana hot sauce, and some cornbread will make your day my day. Yes, it tastes like rubber or gum, when you eat it, but it don't matter. You boil them chitlins and the chitlin is the best food you can think of, man. I know a lot of y'all, I would never eat chitlins. They're so disgusting. Okay, for all you adults out there, and I'm just being real, I ain't missing no words. I'm keeping it 100 with you. Eating chitlins is not for everybody. Eating chitlins is like having an intimate moment with your spouse in that third hole. Now I know what y'all think. What is he talking about that third? I want you to I want you to stop, stare at this video, and count the holes on your body. One, front, bike though. Anybody that goes bike, probably like chitlins. I'm just saying, I know it's a weird comparison. I'm just trying to tell y'all the truth about chitterlings. Okay? Chitterlings are great. Don't tell me you will go in the bedroom and you will do that and you will eat that, but you won't eat no chitlins over white rice with Louisiana hot sauce. Don't disrespect a chitterling. I seen a video they were talking about chitterling. I like, wait, no, wait. You're not gonna disrespect my mama chitlins. You ain't gonna disrespect my grandma, rest in peace, her chitlins. You ain't gonna disrespect my sister. My sister really can't even cook, but they can throw down some chitlins. You ain't gonna disrespect the foreskin of the pig. That's all I'm saying now. I want to hear comments. I want to read comments. I want to hear y'all thoughts on chitterlings. I'm just saying it. And if you've never had a chitterling, you can't comment on the video. Your opinion, your opinion don't matter when it come to the chitlin. Now, I ain't saying drink the chitlin juice. Now, if you're drinking chitlin juice, then you are Kelly in some things out there. That's the whole difference.